Good morning, believers. JD Nyser, Word of Truth, back with another message. This is going to be a spiritual music video. And this is one of my favorite artists, um, Ziggy Marley. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bring the power and wisdom of the Benjamites jamming, jamming in your name. Amen. So this one's called um, So Good, So Good, So Right. So Good, So Right by, by Ziggy Marley. And I'll just start. Um, I'll kind of sing it, but I'm going to try not to because I'm not the best singer. But um, I want to give you an idea of how, he, how the beat goes. It's a pretty cool song. If you want to pull it up, So Good, So Right by Ziggy Marley. It's off the ja Jamaica album. Jamaica. J-A-H-M-E-K-Y-A. Jamekya. Jamekya. And it goes, this one is special for all ye ladies. You never know I was that type of man. So good, so right, so good, so, so good, so right, so good, so. So, he's talking about um, how hard it is for a woman to understand a spiritual man. This one's special for all ye ladies. You never knew I was that kind of man. And he kind of laughs. Ha, 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 ha. Because um, it's funny how um, women, women are a different type, man. They don't, they don't have it a lot of times. And that's why I was saying in the video earlier that I don't have time to fiddle fart with women anymore because there's a, um, there's a broken reed there and it doesn't, it's not measuring up. And then he goes, feel so good about something so right, could it last another night? Feel so good about something so right, could it last another night? And then the, um, he goes on to say, but you keep on watching the time, wondering what's on my mind. So you say you can't stay too long, cause you know what I'm all about, what I'm all about. I don't have to sing and shout what I'm all about. You know what I'm all about. Um, at the end of the day, what we're all about, he says, but you keep on watching the time, wondering what's on my mind. So you say you can't stay too long because you know what I'm all about. These women, um, the, their heart is with Esau. Their heart, the devil, that sat satanic mindset has has sunk into a lot of these women. They they come from that that brokenness that they they can't step all the way into a real relationship with a man, and that's what Satan's done here is destroyed anything that's good and right about the family and so the the song is basically about how um, there's no way to get a woman in this satanic place to understand and it's it's to their advantage to um to be better, but they, they're going to be who they are. And that's what, as men, we have to realize that um, we're never, on this side, we're never going to have understanding from a woman. They're not, they're not, they're not going to bow to us. They're not going to listen to us. They know, they know they should be. That's what he's saying. Um, you keep watching the time, wondering what's on my mind. Because they, they, they don't quite get it. They, they're watching, they're looking, but they, they can't quite figure out how they're going to get to where we're at. There's no way to do it, really. Um, 
I don't have to sing and shout what I'm all about. You know what I'm all about. So the more you try to pastor a woman, especially your woman, um, if she's not willingly coming towards you going, you know what? You're not always the best person, but I know you're a God person and I'm going to honor that. And when they say that to you, it's so much easier to accept them for who they are. But there's no, I've never seen it. I've seen it in small bursts. They never say it. I've seen it. They've shown it here and there. But I think that's just to, um, for their own benefit, right? So then it goes on. Um, again, it goes, feel so good about something so right, could it last another night? Feel so good about something so right. Um, and then it says, yes, it's the truth, it's the fact. I'm coming to you straight from the back in a mastering room style. But I think in the song it actually says, in the master dub style. I don't know, sometimes the words... the. It's not, it's, that's, I don't remember it saying mastering room style. It's, I, I'm coming to you straight from the back in the master dub style. Um, the master is, is our savior, right? In the master dub style. It's, um, I'm trying to dub it in so you can hear and understand is what he's saying. Um, yes, it's the truth. It's the fact. I'm coming to you straight from the back. That's, he's, he's alluding to Benjamin. Because Benjamin was the last born. He was number 12. He's the youngest. He's the smallest. He's this Bethlehem Ephrata, the, um, the where the branch comes out of, is this um, Bethlehem. Yes, it's the truth. It's the fact. I'm coming to you straight from the back. We're the last tribe. We're, we're, we're behind everyone. We're behind all the rest of the brothers. We're coming to you straight from the back. Um... It's hard to believe that the youngest, the smallest, um, the weakest, you look at Yahawashai when he was walking the earth, um, he was humble, he was sweet-hearted, he was loving, he was caring. So, um, as time goes on, I'm hoping that my heart grows bigger, my love for, for every man, so that I, I don't offend and I don't contradict the word just because man is coming against me. I hope I have that power of Yahweh to say, um, I, I come from the smallest. I come from the, the weakest. I come from the from Bethlehem of Judah, the smallest of the tribe. So that's what Ziggy's saying. Yes, it's the truth. It's a fact. I'm coming to you straight from the back in a master dub style. Don't be shy. Don't you lie. Look into my eye. I'll tell you why. I'll teach you about feeling high. I got some chicken skin on that one. Don't be shy. Don't you lie. Look into my eye. I'll tell you why. I'll teach you about feeling high. Um, don't be shy. Um, if you really want to know me, if you really want to um, feel what it is about this world, for a woman to actually give herself onto you as a Lord over her, as a as a true man of the Lord, for her to say, I trust you. I trust you like I trust, like you trust the Lord, I trust you. So we, this is a lesson to us men too, is um, do we trust the Lord? Do Can we at the end go, I'm not going to offend you. I'm not going to contradict you. You can say what you want about me. I trust my Lord is going to set things straight in the end. Do what you must. Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. So good, so right. Could it last another night? <laughs> um, look into my eye. I'll tell you why. I'll teach you about feeling high. Um, that's the highest... That's the highest calling for a woman is to be able to look into a man's eye and go, I trust you, right? And that's that's the beauty of this spiritual music is um, they're bringing 
they're bringing the the spiritual truth to a to a world in this master dub style. They're making music that can enliven and enrich your, your spirit. So then it says, um, it, it does the chorus again. Feel so good about something so right. Could it last another night? Um, so that what he's talking about right there, I, I kind of just got it is, you know, you go through these times with women where they actually, you actually have that close bond you get done or you're in the middle of a, a good session and you feel that feeling like you're drifting off into into some other dimension you know you're like whoa where am i um the pleasure the the experience between the two of you lights this fire this fire like the fire between you and Yahushai that you feel when you're close to the lord it's that same interdimensional deja vu type of losing yourself in away from this 3d junkyard you're actually going into the heavenly realms because you are um you're bonding in that in that spirit so then it after that it says um never before have you seen this so i say this feeling sinks within my head oh yeah oh yeah Never before have you seen, no, never before have you believed it. So I mean what I say, you've just got to be yourself. Never before have you seen this. So I say, this feeling sink within my head. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, that's, that's when you actually connect with them. And they actually see you who, for who you are. And a lot of times, that'll draw them close to you for a while, but then... They don't know how to sustain that. Just like we can't sustain our love for the Lord every minute. They can't sustain that that respect and that love for us. So um, it almost it almost breaks the bond. Because they it's it's just like how it is for us here with the Lord. It's hard to stay with him every moment. And it's a coming it's a coming and going. It's a it's an on and off. It's kind of like a switch. We want to keep the switch on all the time, but um, it's impossible because we're in this 3D junkyard. This feeling sinks within my head. Your head is your heart. That's your um, lob in the Hebrew. The, the word for heart is lob, which, which is basically your, your mindset. Where's your, where, where your mind goes your heart follows and that's where your love is where your treasures are so it sinks within his head and um that's that's when we get this really strong love for the woman we feel that love from the heavenly father and that same feeling that we get from him we we get from the woman and the woman gets from us but it can't sustain because we're here in this fallen world and then it says never before have you believed it so I mean what I say, you've just got to be yourself. Um, like we were talking about in the last videos, this work we do. Um, is every part of the body the same? No. Do I have big fat faults? Do I have sins? Yes. But am I going to be J.D. Nyjah? I have to be. He's he's gonna make me be who I am, and as long as you don't fight him, you'll have a lot more peace. No matter whether it's getting up on a building and shooting somebody with an assault rifle, if he tells you that's what you're gonna do, that's what you're gonna do. And it's you know a lot of uh, there's been a lot of talk that we have free will. I'm I'm still. I'm not too sure about that. I'm not too sure about the free will thing. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep praying on that one. And then the chorus goes, "Feel so good about something so right. Could it last another night?" Um, he's asking the question: Can we sustain this spiritual? love that we have for the father can we can we keep feeling it day after day can it last can it last 
Um, can the love this woman has for me that she's showing right now, can it last? Um, it's, it's, it's a doubt because we, we pretty much know that it's going to fade and it's going to turn into something else. And that's why a lot of us, even though we love a woman so much, um, as time goes on, they take that, they take that heavenly love that we give them and they turn it against us. Just like as men of the Lord, we take that heavenly love, especially Israel. If you're a Hebrew and that's what, this is where a lot of these spiritual songs come from. They're, they're not coming from a um, Gentile. Very seldom will I bring a Gentile type song like um, Trick of the Tail. They got no horns and they got no tails. That's a Gentile spiritual song. Um, the reggae, most of the, most of the spiritual music that I bring forth is going to be Hebrew style. It's going to be what it means to be an Israelite. So what I was saying is, um, we turn our back on our, on the father and, and we turn our back on our brother, Yahawashai, just like these women turn their backs on us. Um, it's a, it's a Hebrew thing. It's, that's a big part of what it means to be an Israelite is to be a rebellious, stiff necked, um, on again, off again. Um, yes, I will Lord to no, I don't Lord. And it's, and that's, um, what Ziggy's singing about right here is, can it last another night? Can't, when, when is it going to just, when is it going to just sustain No matter how many times you see it, never before have you seen this. So I say this feeling sink within my head. Never before have you believed it. So I mean what I say. You've just got to be yourself. Um, it's going to wax and wane. You're going to love the Lord. And then you're going to you're gonna wonder where he went. Um, you're, he's going to chase after you. And then there's going to be a time when you're chasing after him. Um, as long as we're in this fallen world, there's a, there's a, a doubt, right? And then it says at the end, yes, it's the strife of my life to explain what's in my brain. If you believe what I say, then check, check in, check in. Check in, check in, check into my hotel. Um, and the allusion to hotel is, um, we're not, we're not staying here. We're only pilgrim, pilgrimaging together. Um, check into my hotel. Um, let's, let's, let's sleep it off. Let's. Let's bond in the same bed. Let's let's lay down together. Let's wake up together. And um, I'll just bring in my own personal experience that fits into this. It's interesting because um, the ex came over the other day and on Fourth of July, and I made her some dinner and um. We talked a little bit and uh, she wanted to get carnal and I wanted to get spiritual. We're not on the same page. So I was hoping that she would just spend the night and want to check into my hotel, check into J the word of truth with JD Nija. Um, spiritual relief, spiritual connectedness. And if, if that love thing, if that, if I felt her spiritually, I would have felt her carnally and hoping that that would fire something up, but she never even gave it. She didn't give me any time. She wanted her carnal mind and that's why Ziggy says at the beginning of the song, this one 
is special for all the ladies. And he's trying to explain to women that um, if you really want to get to the Lord, you have to go through a, a man of the Lord. And Ziggy's coming from a Hebrew perspective because we know these things. As Hebrews, we know these things. Um, the Gentiles, when it comes to that, um, they're, they're all fumbling alone. They're fumbling alone in the dark. They, they don't have that. There's not, there's not that heavenly man in a heathen reality, in a pagan reality. They are just as good at Christmas as they are at Easter, as they are at Fourth of July, as they are at, it's all, it's all single. It's a single, it's a, it's a one man, one soul, one woman, one soul type of reality where as a Hebrew, as an Israelite, um, we have a deeper belief system. We have, we have these laws. We have these, this, this birthing, what do they call it? It's, um, it's the, it's the abundance of our, our seed that brings forth spiritual beings. We bring forth spirituality. We, we are um, of the Most High. We are indwelled with the Holy Spirit. We can, we can pass along this inheritance. We are the land. So when I when I bring some of these spiritual music to you, it's to I, I'll I'll make it clear that most of most of what I bring is Hebrew related. It's it's of Benjamin Benjamin. It's of the the tribe that comes straight from the back. Um, yes, it's the truth. It's the fact. I'm coming to you straight from the back in a master dub style don't be shy don't you lie look into my eye i'll tell you why i'll teach you about feeling i i and i you can't as a as a pagan as a heathen that that it's not going to come to you until the kingdom comes you're going to have no idea how beautiful israel is you're not going to you're not going to really get it Unless you cleave on to Israel now. Now's the time. Now's the time. Believers, your spiritual, your spiritual future depends on believing what I say. Never before have you seen this. So I say, this feeling sink within my head. Never before have you believed it. So I mean what I say. You've just got to be yourself. Be who you are. If you're a Gentile, if you know you're a pagan, and you know that you're a believer, then you know you need to cleave on to Israel. If you're Israel, you know you need to behave like Israel. You need to be a Hebrew. You need to know where you came from. Who are you? Which tribe do you think you're from, Israel? It's all right. It's not endless genealogies. It's your genealogy. Endless genealogies is, is all confusion. Your genealogy is proof. It's, it's written somewhere. If you're Israel and you're Hebrew, it's written and it's okay to search th those things out. Feel so good about something so right. Can it last another night? Feel so good about something so right. This is Word of Truth with J.D. Nyjah. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the message. I do these messages every day. Bible teaching. I love the Bible. I love our Lord. I love the the thinking, the 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 
searching the work. I like the work. So get busy. If you want to sit and study the Bible with me, I'm not perfect. I'm just searching, knocking. And I want to do it in truth and in, in honor to our Lord. I don't want to I don't want to be condemned for being a, a joker or a clown. Hit the subscribe button if you want to hang out with us. We do this every morning, right, Jay Hall? <laughs> Love you, brother. Hope everything's well. Stay strong. All you believers, all you of Israel. JD Nigel, Word of Truth, I'm out.